right, I'm Mike with Criterion Barrels. So we wanted to talk about AR specific builds and the types of barrels that we offer and what the rifle builder might want to select when they're thinking about their next rifle build. Uh, we offer a wide range of different contours. We have different barrel lengths. And obviously all of those things are going to go into, uh, into consideration when somebody is considering their, their rifle build. So, you know, we have everything from like 300 Blackout, we have 223 Remington, uh, we have 224 Valkyrie, uh, wide range. Um, different contours. Contours is really important. Obviously heavier barrels will absorb more heat, they'll remain more rigid, uh, and therefore they'll be more accurate for a longer period of time. Heavier barrels also retain heat for a longer period of time. So there's certain considerations with contours that individual rifle builders need to take into account. Uh, barrel length, generally speaking, uh, longer barrels will give you better velocity. So if you're gonna be consistently taking, let's say like a 223 out past 800 yards, you're probably gonna wanna go 18 or 20 or longer. Uh, if you're gonna be you know, having a rifle build that is specific for close quarters battle or something like that, a 10 5, 12 5, 14 5, something a little bit more compact, more easily maneuverable. Uh, we, we, most of our 223 barrels feature the 223 Wild Chamber. It's really optimized for uh, consistent chamber pressures. Very much like a 5.56 NATO, but it has a slight taper to the throat, gives that more consistent, more accurate chamber. Um, again, most of, our, most of our 223 barrels have a one in eight twist. That will stabilize anything from a 55 grain bullet, really common to buy in bulk and shoot and train with, all the way up to the heaviest bullets that will fit and feed from a standard AR-15 magazine, like a 77 grain bullet. Uh, lots of different things to take into consideration when you're building a rifle. I would definitely recommend checking us out. Uh, we have different types of uh, finishes and things like that as well. Everything from standard raw stainless steel, like 416R stainless steel barrels. Uh, we have chrome line barrels that are unique and better than any, any other barrel manufacturers that are out there. We hand lap bores, we polish chambers before any type of chrome lining is applied. But what that does is it gives you a perfectly uniform chrome lining throughout the bore. There's no variance in the depth in that chrome lining. Uh, so that's usually where you get cracks and chipping occurring. So they're more durable, they're more accurate. We currently have national match records that are set with chrome line barrels, which is really unique. Uh, we also have uh, salt bath nitride barrels. That basically starts its life as a raw stainless steel barrel. It gets submerged into about a thousand degrees salt bath, hardens all the surface materials. Uh, really, it actually increases the lubricity, so you get a little bump in your velocities. It's also very corrosion resistant, gives you better barrel life. All types of advantages there. Each configuration we make has its own unique attributes that would make it optimal for an individual rifle builder. So if you ever have any questions, you can feel free to hit us up. Give me a call. Uh, you know, you can shoot contact at criterionbarrels.com and any email you want uh, or give us a call. I'm always happy to talk about the next build. So thanks for stopping by. So this would be a chrome line barrel. These are hand lapped prior to chrome lining. We have a very unique process with which the chrome lining is applied to the bore as well. So it gets that perfect uniformity. You can't tell any difference just from looking at the external between this and a raw stainless steel barrel. And that is because of that unique process that we use. It, it goes on and they're held to the exact same tolerances as a stainless steel barrel. Uh, again, polished chambers but it's totally a chrome-lined interior, very bomb-proof. Uh, obviously, it's been proven all over the world. And then lastly would be a salt bath nitride barrel. Uh, this starts its life as a raw 416R stainless steel. Uh, it gets submerged into about a thousand degrees salt bath. It hardens all the surface materials that's inside the lands and grooves, the bore, the external of the barrel. All the surface materials are hardened. Uh, it increases the lubricity, so it increases your velocities, and also is very corrosion resistant. Uh, after the salt bath process, there's sometimes a little bit of a residue that's left on the internals of the barrel. That's another thing that we do that's unique. Prior to sending out to nitride, we hand lap those bores, polish the chamber, but when they come back, we repolish them. Uh, so you have a completely pristine and very smooth bore groove dimension, polished chamber, excellent for reliability, for accuracy, and again, all of our barrels are held to the exact same internal tolerances regardless of the finish. Each one's got their own unique attributes as well. Yep, so this would be like our new 300 blackout barrel. 
features a one and seven twist. It's a 10 and a half inch barrel, which is a really excellent barrel length if you're gonna be shooting both super and subsonic ammunition. It doesn't have enough barrel length where you can push some of the faster moving subsonic loads past uh, what would be considered like subsonic velocities. So it's a really great combination if you're gonna be shooting both. Excellent run suppressed.